All clear has been given at a West Suburban High School hours after reports of a man with a rifle entering the building canceled classes there. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live in Batavia. Eric, after quite a scare when some kids were questioning whether they were going to be allowed to go to school today. Good morning to you, Aaron and Mike. Classes resumed here at Batavia High just minutes ago at 1050. Students starting their day with third period. This morning's situation, something Batavia police tell me they've been preparing for. When you know incidents like this happen, we are you know we're ready to uh, you know to meet the threat. Batavia Deputy Chief Sean Mazza says dozens of officers responded to Batavia High minutes after a man walked into the police station, telling them he watched someone wearing all black walk into the school armed with a rifle. I just never thought it would actually happen here. Batavia High Junior Jacob Burroughs says he was in the parking lot as the school was being evacuated a little after 6 a.m. Chopper 2 in the air as dozens of police set up in the school's parking lot. At one point I saw like five helicopters in the sky rotating around the school. Room by room, officers searched every section of the building with a set of master keys. And we're confident at this point that uh, there uh, isn't a threat that's inside of the buildings. Deputy Chief Mazza says his squad checked school surveillance footage, confirming a student athlete was mistaken for someone carrying a rifle. And it looked like there was a, a baseball bat. Um, basically protruding from their their bags. Columbine all over. I, I just I don't I'm just glad that it was not anything serious. Annette Tortorella lives and works close to the school. She says even she was told to stay home. It's, it's scary and right here in your own backyard. You hear about it so often now that you just you can't take a chance. And Deputy Chief Mazza telling me that the police officers work here at the high school isn't done just yet. Officers planning on interviewing a couple of people to simply help them tie up loose ends. We're live in Batavia this morning. Eric Cox, CBS 2 News. Mike, Aaron. Everyone has to be vigilant. It makes sense, though, Eric. Thank you.